Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, out of voice the radio. So today, we need to take a little bit of a look at a new Flareon, and I really like this new Flareon. This new Flareon looks so much fun. Let's have a gander, shall we? I will say I had a go at the translation with Google Translate with this, but clearly our translation comes from the lovely Antoine Boulet, because there's no way I'm posting this without checking with them. And also, I would have got the ability slightly wrong. So this Flareon has 110 HP, which is fine for a stage one. It's a Flareon. It's, it's not great, but it's pretty much what we expect. We see a retreat cost of two, which is higher than we might like. But we can use their balloon to give it free retreats. But we're definitely not going to. The weakness to water is, is kind of alright. There just aren't many great water decks around at the moment. Maybe one day Frostmoth will come around and Frostmoth will be a thing and water decks will reign supreme. But until that day, ladies and gentlemen, it's not a bad weakness to have. Being a fire type, however, that is awesome. That means welder to accelerate energy and giant half to get your energy out the deck and fire crystal to get your energy out the discard, etc. But it also means weakness on metal Pokemon like Zashium and grass Pokemon and it's a good weakness to hit. But what does it do? Well, we'll start off with the attack. The attack is not terribly exciting. It is free energy, 100 damage. Now, the good news is that the energy here can be paid with a welder. Yay! The, the bad news is it's not enough to KO a Zashian. Now, it is enough to KO a Zashian with a Vitality Band, but just like I said with Air Balloon, we ain't playing Vitality. I suppose we could, but we probably won't. So you're missing the key KO that you're really looking for here. It's fine, but honestly, if you're going to be using a non-GX, non-V fire type attacker, use the Volcanion from Unbroken Bonds. Because two energy on that, two energy somewhere else, one more energy total, but only two need to be on Volcanium, and you hit 110, and that does get a KO on Zashian. So yeah, that's better. But it's not the attack we're worried about here, it's the ability. If this Pokemon has a memory capsule attached, all grass Pokemon in play have no abilities. Now, I told you I would have got this ability slightly wrong. I was unsure as to whether it turned off abilities of your grass Pokemon as well or just your opponents. Antoine here has told us very clearly it is all grass Pokemon in play, not your opponent's grass Pokemon. And don't worry. I have gone and called up a list of every grass Pokemon in play with an ability, and I don't know if we're necessarily going to go through every single one in this video, but I certainly will be showing you all of the most relevant ones as we go. But there is one here above all else that really stands out as, oh yeah, no, that's why we're playing Flareon. It's Decidueye. The new Decidueye that came around in Darkness Ablaze has an ability that makes it immune to GX and V Pokemon. It's actually super annoying. It's not easy to go up against. Flareon just turns it off. Now, this is awesome. It is a stage one and you do need the tool and that, that is a pain, I'll give you that. But it basically means if you get this, you know, a Center Scorch VMAX deck would generally go, oh man, I want to attack with Center Scorch VMAX, but I can't. But then again, fire decks actually don't really care. Because Fire Decks are going to be playing that Volcanion I mentioned a moment ago, and that's going to wreck Decidueye. But the thing about Flareon is, we don't need to think about Flareon as a fire Pokemon. It is just a Pokemon. It sits on the bench, you attach it all, boom, turn off abilities. And if you think that we're not going to be playing a Stage 1 and attaching it all to turn off abilities, Garboda. Now, to be fair, this is... A specific tool that has to be attached, which is a pain. And it's a tool that might not be that useful for your other Pokemon, but it's there for any deck. No, Eternatus isn't going to be playing it, because Eternatus can only be playing Darkness Pokemon. That's a little bit of a pain. But how about Zashian ADP? Turn this off and then KO Decidueye. That seems like it would work quite nicely. How about a uh, Pikachu and Zekrom deck? Just turn it off and KO with Pikachu and Zekrom. And actually, because Decidueye's got 140 HP, if you use your GX attack, you can KO two Decidueye at the same time. Now, 
We do probably need to mention the tool here. And the tool is that memory capsule and it lets you use the attacks of your pre-evolutions. So when you attach it, you can use the attack of any basic or stage one from which you have evolved it. Which is kind of useful. I mean, what I really like about this, there are going to be decks that are playing Memory Capsule just so that they can use Flareon to turn off abilities. But then they're also going to go, oh, wait a second, one of my pre-evolutions actually has a really nice attack. I can go ahead and take advantage of that. That's actually really kind of cool. It's a nice little bonus. Now, we do need to mention Tool Scrapper here, and we do need to differentiate between two types of abilities. You see, Tool Scrapper is back in the format now. It got a reprint in Rebel Clash, and Tool Scrapper lets you remove two tools on the field from yours or your opponent's Pokemon. So if your opponent's got an ability that they want to use, they can just Tool Scrapper to get rid of your tool, and just like with the old Garboda, the ability comes back on. Here's the thing. Depends on the ability. Something like Decidueye Tool Scrapper is not going to matter because that is an ability that is relevant on your turn. You attach the tool, you turn off Decidueye's ability, you KO Decidueye, jobs are good. Enough. But take something like Flapple. Flapple is relevant on your opponent's turn. Flapple's got that really nice ability that drops two damage counters and then shuffles into the owner's deck. Well, if you want to use Flapple, you can just Tool Scrapper onto the Flareon and then use Flapple's ability. But you need to remember here, right, by the same token, yes, that will work. But you've also got to have the Tool Scrapper on the turn you want to use Flapple's ability. And it's not like you're going to have 17 Tool Scrappers in your deck. Sooner or later, you will run out of Tool Scrappers. And that will be a bit of a pain. So abilities that are relevant on your turn, this is amazing. Abilities that are relevant on your opponent's turn, they can Tool Scrapper. But it's not always going to be quite that easy. Make no mistake about it. If there are any abilities on Grass Pokemon that you want to turn off, and Decidueye really is the big one here, you can play a 1-1 one, one or 2-2 two, two line of this with one or two memory capsule, which might end up being useful for your other Pokemon, and then you've got yourself an answer. And I know some people look and go, oh, a four to six card tech, no thank you. Well, it, it could be a four to six card tech to turn an auto loss into an auto win. Like any deck that really struggles with Decidueye can go from, yeah, I literally can't beat that to, yay, I'm massively favoured. And if Decidueye is a big enough part of the metagame, that's worth it. So let's finish off doing a little bit of a speed round of some other grass abilities that you can turn off with this. The Rowlet from Darkness Ablaze that can attack for free if you've played a Bird Keeper this turn. That's going to go away. We've got the Rillaboom from Sword and Shield, which lets grass decks accelerate energy from their deck. And as a side note, some grass decks really rely on this and that will shut down their entire deck. Eldegoss V is a really big one here. It lets you grab a supporter card from your discard pile and put it into your hand. And that's really, really big. And a lot of decks play it. And this will stop your opponent getting that boss's orders to win the game at the last minute. It'll stop them grabbing a professor's research when they've got a one card hand, etc. All of a sudden, that quick ball doesn't turn into the perfect card. That quick ball turns into a dead card. There is the Appleton, it is the counterpart of Flapple, that lets you flip a coin and if heads, switch one of your opponent's bench basic Pokemon with their active. Doesn't see a huge amount of play, but could be kind of fun. There is the Lombre with top entry that just lets you play it a little bit more quickly and easily. And I'll be honest with you here, that doesn't see a huge amount of play because we haven't got a great Ludicolo. But if we ever do get a great Ludicolo, keep an eye out for this one. It could end up being really quite good. There is the Caterpie and Metapod with Adaptive Evolution that let you evolve up straight away. Again, they're not seeing a huge amount of play here because we don't have a phenomenal Butterfree. But if we ever do, something to keep an eye on. There is an Orbeetle that lets you rearrange the top three cards of your opponent's deck. That could end up seeing a bunch of play in these Control, Annoyance, Call and What You Will decks. It'll totally turn that off. 
Venusaur and Snivy, if it's active and you attach a grass energy to it, you get to swap one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active. It's really good gusting if you're playing it. That goes away. Buzzwall, the Sun and Moon promo, well, it came around in Cosmic Eclipse but was also printed as a pre-release promo. That's the art I'm using because I love it. Does 20 more to your opponent's active for each prize card you have taken. Doesn't see play, but it's a nice little ability. Vile Plume EX allows you to heal 30 from each of your Pokemon. Honestly, Vile Plume generally just sees play as an attacker in Mewtwo and Mew decks. Because for two energy, you do 180 if you've got no damage on you. But you never know, that healing might come around and be relevant at some point in the future. We've got a Saws Buck that once during your turn lets you draw a card. Doesn't see a huge amount of play, but you never know, one day it might come around. We've got the Cradley from Cosmic Eclipse that says your opponent's Pokemon affected by special conditions can't retreat. Hasn't seen any real play, but it's there. We've got a Moongus. Now, this is the Bursting Spores of Moongus, and this is played around, though admittedly very much as a fringe deck. Whenever you play a Pokemon that has the Spore attack from your hand, you may leave your opponent's active Pokemon asleep and poisoned. So that's a rogue deck you're basically entirely shutting down. There is a Serena that lets you once during your turn attach a Grass Energy from your discard pile to your active. I'll be honest with you, this has been completely and utterly outclassed by Rillaboom, but it's still there. And clearly at this stage, we are going through the whole list of every post-rotation grass Pokemon with an ability that's been released, so hold on tight, we're almost done. There is a Crossle that takes 30 less damage from attacks. Again, doesn't really see any play, unfortunately. There is a Levani that says all of your grass Pokemon take 40 less from attacks, although it specifically does not stack. There is a Swadloon that takes 30 less damage from attacks. Obviously, there's a good combo to be had there with the aforementioned Levani. And there is a Swaddle that takes 10 damage less from attacks. So that entire line, quite frankly, is um being hurt by this. We've then got a Vile Plume that lets you flip a coin and if heads, choose Burn, Confuse, Poison or Sleep and your opponent's active is now affected by that special condition. There is a Gloom and I actually like the Gloom a bit more. Once during your turn you may flip a coin if heads. You can look at your opponent's hand and bench one of their basics, though this doesn't work if your opponent already has a full bench. And then we've got a Caterpie and Metapod that let you flip a coin and if head search your deck for a card that evolves from them and put it on them to evolve them. We've got the Ludicolo from Detective Pikachu that lets you once during your turn heal 30 from one of your Pokemon. We've got the Parasect from Team Up, which puts two damage counters on Confused Pokemon between turns, which I always thought was going to see play, because Confusion is powerful, but it never did. And then the Kakuna from Team Up, that if this Pokemon has any grass energy to it, it takes 30 less damage from attacks. So there we go, that is the complete list of Pokemon cards that have been revealed so far, or at least at least, that are grass type and will survive the rotation. Honestly, this is largely going to be here for Decidueye and Eldegoss. They are by far the best Pokemon this turns off. But as a score, I'm giving this between four and five Wossies. We don't give half Wossies. That would be barbaric. It gives literally any deck an answer to Decidueye. And given that that's the kind of deck that can completely lock Pokemon out of the game. Yeah, that can turn an auto loss into an auto win. Tell me that doesn't sound good. But tell me whatever you like, quite frankly, down in the comment section. Get up, be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wassy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can do exactly that. But by far the most important thing as always... Look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.